Welcome back to the Upgrade Series, where I take this and try to make it as functional as possible. Don't worry, the aesthetics will get a treatment later. For now though, it's time to fix an inconvenience that I've been having for a while, and we're doing it on your boot sequence. So this one might be a little bit of a weird one, but my main complaint when it comes to my personal gaming and computing life is very simple. If I'm home, I just want to be able to do everything on my main rig. And when I say main rig, I just mean my desk area. I have a comfortable chair, I have a nice keyboard, a nice mouse, and a controller that I like, and that's it. If I game, I just want to press a button and be able to play right here. I also want my desktop to laptop experience to be a little more seamless, like no need for multiple keyboards and mice, or no unplugs and replugs. The solution? A TestSmart KVM. Please tell me it's right up. Yeah, it's, it's uh, right side up. Good. What's a KVM? Well, it can do a lot of things in a lot of different applications. But essentially, for me, you can have multiple devices connected to this thing and control them all from a single set of peripherals. So I can have my laptop, my desktop, an Xbox, and whatever else it supports be controlled by a single set of keyboard, mouse, and of course, a controller of your choice. And it would all be displayed on my monitor. Or monitors, that's plural. Didn't think you'd get an English lesson out of this video, did you? That's because this beauty from Tesmart, thank you very much guys for sending it over, but this one has an ace up its sleeves. I plug in all four of my devices here and my monitors there, and at this point, I can either use it to control my computer with extended screens, so like right now, what you see right here, where this is the display from a single source, or I can have separate outputs. Let me give you an example. Here, I have my PC with extended displays, so I can move stuff from one screen to the other. I can just go ahead and press output B2, and now this is my laptop screen. And guess what? I don't need to change anything. My mouse still works, and so does my keyboard. Um, and of course, if I want to switch focus, I just have to click on the output plus the computer that I want to control, and boom. I'm back into controlling this one. Pretty cool, right? And you can do that with a console or really anything that has an HDMI output. Plus, it shares two USB 2.0 ports on my model, which means that my audio interface doesn't need to be reconnected every time I switch from one source to the other. So my speakers will work on, you know, whatever devices I'm focused on. And for my console, there's a quick workaround that can make it work too. Not only that, but I thought, why not just use an external drive on the USB 2.0 port hooked up to it? At that point, I can access the files from whichever device is connected to the TestMart KVM switch. I just wish I chose the USB 3.0 version because the USB 2.0 is, of course, a little bit limiting. This TestMart model specifically, unlike a lot of HDMI switchers or even KVMs, support a lot of resolutions and refresh rates at up to 4K60. That means that I'll be able to take full advantage of the two 1440p 144Hz monitors that I have here. Plus, there's resolution locking, so the computers that are connected always think that they're connected to a display. This is great when switching from one device to another because it makes it smoother. Your computer doesn't have to find the resolution. You can set up the switching with keyboard shortcuts, an IR remote through a serial port or the physical buttons on the actual device. Let me take it out of the box for a sec. So yeah, these are the physical buttons. Very, very clicky. Here's some ASMR. I don't know what else to say. This thing is super awesome and I'm flipping out on seeing what else I can do with it. My security cameras are definitely getting a spot on that thing when I get the money to afford a security camera. Don't come rob me, please. There's already some doofuses in my neighborhood who go through cars and I forgot to lock mine. Yeah, sure, it's my fault. Anyways, they stole my retro console. I had a Donkey Kong Country save on that thing. I said earlier that there are other uses for KVMs as well. Well, it depends on what kind of KVM you have. You can get one pretty cheap that will work for two devices and one monitor. So a laptop and a desktop setup, that's pretty cool. Or a desktop and console setup, with the same KVM. And with TestSmart, this can scale up to this, which is uh, two monitors and four devices connecting to it, uh, a couple of USBs that are shared between the devices too, or you can get one like this monster right here, which has dedicated USB 3.0 hubs, a LAN port, and headphones and mic input. They also have like extenders and stuff like that. It's 
insane the amount of things that you can do with the KVM. It can be used to switch between PCs with different OS's too. That's for you uh, Linux and Mac OS devs, especially since this one is compatible with pretty much every flavor of Linux and current OS's, even Unix. You could incorporate this into your streaming gears for fast switching between uh, you know consoles or inputs really, and have the output split to your capture cart. I mean, you can ask ChatGPT if you want and he'll give you a ton of other ways to use a KVM. I think one of his suggestions was for controlling military drones through a KVM. Anyways, for me, this setup is great. Now I just have to build some kind of dock for my laptop to make it easier to connect to the KVM. I'm thinking cling film, maybe concrete, wood, and a couple of cables. I guess you'll have to wait and stay tuned to see what I mean here. There's links down below if you want to get yourself one and uh, check out the Testmark website for uh, more information on their KVMs. In any case, stay tuned for the upgrade series. Uh, subscribe, leave a comment if you liked the video, right here to watch the latest one and right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.